Hi, I'm Maxine Fitzpatrick, Executive Director of Portland Community Reinvestment Initiatives. It is my honor to share with you why tonight's special award recipient has meant so much to our organization, to our city, and to me personally as both a mentor and a friend. Please join me in honoring Ms. Gretchen Kafori. Gretchen Kafori is no stranger to service. She represented East Portland in the Oregon Legislature from 1977 to 1982, served as a Multnomah County Commissioner from 1985 to 1991, and in 1992 received the Human Rights Award from the American Civil Liberties Union of Oregon while serving as a Portland City Commissioner until 1998. It is during her time as city commissioner that her commitment to human services and civil rights issues became cemented to her legacy. Gretchen is an inspiration and she's been a wonderful mentor to me. She's somebody who's been in politics for a long time and yet hasn't lost the fire in her belly and the joy in her heart over getting things done. For me, she was the housing commissioner. She was somebody who was fired up about making a house looking affordable and providing for people, helping people. I like how she was and is. Once she's on your side, she's on your side and she'll tell you when she disagrees with you and also be right there the next minute helping get something else done. And I truly appreciate everything that she does and the person that she is. Gretchen's strong convictions and determination explain why she wasn't afraid to take on Portland's powerful landlords and why she consistently encouraged other commissioners to take a strong stand on public housing and tenant rights. It also explains why she led the charge for the city to secure a loan, purchasing a large portfolio of debilitated properties controlled by unethical speculators in inner northeast Portland. This led to the establishment of what is now PCRI and set a new standard for future relationships between the city and community development organizations. It was a gamble, in a way, to use the city to leverage an $11 million bank loan to buy these properties. So there was some risk involved, and it could have come back to bite us, but no, it's, it's one of the happy stories. I'm very proud. We've got a finely managed portfolio to help families in Northeast Portland. PCRI would likely not exist today if it weren't for the advocacy of Gretchen Kafori. Though everyone in the city of Portland benefits from Gretchen's advocacy for affordable housing, her efforts are especially impactful for the several thousand families who live and have lived in PCRI homes throughout the last 20 years. It is this legacy that has inspired us to begin the planning for a new Kafori Court and our continuing efforts to honor her contributions to PCRI and our community.